Professor David Tillman from the University of Minnesota discovered that the productivity and stability of a whole ecosystem rises as biodiversity increases. It was major news that rocked the field of ecology. And the most important issues we as humans face is that we now dominate the earth. We don't realize we're doing it. Not many people think about it. We dominate the earth. We're changing the earth. And we're changing it in ways which have long-term harm for ourselves and every other organism that lives here. With this discovery as a starting point, Tillman has continued raising awareness of the importance of biodiversity in protecting the global environment. 2020 Blue Planet Prize winner, Professor David Tillman. Tillman was born in 1949 in a small town in Michigan in the United States. His house overlooked Lake Michigan and a childhood surrounded by the bounties of nature led him to pursue a path in the field of ecology. I'd grown up on the edge of Lake Michigan. I'd seen Lake Michigan get polluted. Uh, and I knew that came from the nutrient input into the lake. And yet at that time, exactly why that happened and how it happened really wasn't very understood scientifically. Tillman had a strong desire to be useful in helping to solve environmental issues, and he enrolled in the University of Michigan in 1967. After graduation, he began working as an assistant professor at the University of Minnesota and became one of the pioneer figures paying attention to the reasons for the existence of biodiversity. He conducted thorough research on how human agricultural practices have a major effect on natural ecosystems. Even though the world was only, only going to have about 30% more people 50 years from now, we, we found that uh, they are likely to demand about 100 to 110 percent more food production, more crops being grown for them. This means that more farming land will be needed to produce a large amount of cereals to feed livestock, in addition to the crops people eat, and that will destroy ecosystems even further. So Tillman proposed changing farming methods including reconsideration of the amount of nitrogen fertilizer used and the time for spreading it. To increase yields while conserving the environment, he advocated sustainable intensive production. His research results were quoted in the United Nations 2019 IPCC report, which has had an extremely large impact on the world. Today, Tillman conducts studies on the tightly linked diet, health, environment, trilemma, which greatly impacts farming. Some of the foods we eat are healthy for us, some of them are bad for us. Some of the foods we grow are good for the environment, some are bad for the environment. And so if we have health and diet and environment, they're all linked. His studies have demonstrated that a fruit and vegetable based diet with lower consumption of red meats is beneficial for both our human health and the global environment. We have to be very concerned about two major human needs. One is how we get our food and which foods we eat, and the other is how we get our energy. I want to realize how important food and energy are to the future of the world and to the future of the quality of life, and to know that there are ways to meet our energy needs and to feed ourselves that are much better. If we are wise about this, we can create a wonderful world.